Hey loves, what up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Ooh, I'm already trying to drop stuff. <laughs> um, anyway, let me just make sure everything stays on my desk. Okay, <laughs> we are gonna play with some new makeup today. Some I have purchased over the last month and then a few of them have been gifted to me. But I'm really excited to share with you how these work, uh, what I like about them, what I may not like about them. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna have some fun with makeup today. Get your makeup brushes, grab your cup of tea so we can hang out and paint our faces. <laughs> so what are we gonna start with? Oh, let's start with our face because I do already have some foundation on. That's why I'm looking a little ghostly. I primed my face with the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. I love this stuff. So I used it in my last Get Ready With Me. I had a sample of it back then. And pretty much immediately after I filmed that, I went and bought the full-size product because it's really, really good. The foundation I'm using today is also new. This is Becca Cosmetics. What is this called? I forgot already. So this is a new foundation for me. I also received a sample of this from my local Sephora about a month ago and loved it. I really like the color match. It's pretty much spot on. I have been getting more into contouring a little bit thanks to these. These are the Smashbox contour sticks and I found out about these through my homegirl, my bestie Jessie. She used these on me recently for a photo session that I had and they're just three sticks and I'll show you which one. This is the highlight one um, and they're all creamy, really easy to use, full size product and when this starts to get low, you just sharpen it, sharpen it to reveal more of the product. So we're gonna go in with the bronzing one first. And I'm just following the instructions that Jessie, Jessie taught me. She told me what to do, so I'm gonna listen to her. <laughs> um, so what you do is you just kind of draw this line all the way, not too far, maybe about here. I'm gonna deepen that just a little. And then I'm gonna go in with the contour stick and apply that right under, just to give a little bit more definition in here. It looks a little crazy, but it's gonna blend out fine. I'm taking a damp beauty blender and I'm gonna blend this just all the way up. Making sure to blend upwards and not downwards so it doesn't look super muddy but see how easily that blends out it's incredible it's so so easy to use and it can either be really natural or really bold it just depends on how much of the contour and bronzer you're applying but i really really like it see like this i can do like this contour is easy this is something i can manage to do whenever I do a full face of makeup. Do a little bit here on the forehead. This is the bronzer, right? Okay, yeah. Down here, all the way around. And then I'm gonna go in with the contour, like right above it. Making sure to get into that hairline so it looks blended and like not so severe. Now that we have all that, I'm gonna set all of these face products with a little bit of powder. And I'm gonna use this brush from Vanity Planet. Really, really loving this one. It's very soft and it's super light too. So it's really easy to just kind of blend all the way around the face. Now we're going to do a little bit more bronzer, just a tad bit to enhance what's already there. And for that, we're going to use Benefit's Hula Bronzer, an oldie but goodie. And I'm pretty much just going to apply that on the same spots where I applied the Smashbox one. Just like going over it. I'm gonna go in with Max Warm Soul. 
one of my favorite blushes, especially for the summertime. Because it's just like, it's so soft, but it really warms up the skin. And it has almost like a highlight built into it because it's a mineralized finish. So it gives you a nice little glow. For a highlight, we're also going to be using another oldie but goodie. This is Champagne Pop from Becca Cosmetics. Love this highlight. I hadn't used it for a long time and then... The last month or so, I've kind of rediscovered it and fell in love with it all over again. Um, especially when I'm using this blush because they're both on the warmer side. So they like really complement each other. Look at that glow. Ooh. So, so pretty. I'm also going to take a little bit of that. And Oh, no. I just dropped my brush. Shoot, and it went all the way underneath the desk, so I'm not getting that right now. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, so we're gonna use my other highlight brush. <laughs> I'm gonna take more of that same champagne pop and use it with this fan brush also from Vanity Planet. And we are gonna apply this on the tip of the nose. And then right here, Just a little bit, just a little bit. Do some up here again. And also on the Cupid's bow. I don't think I'm gonna do any eyeshadow today, but I'm still gonna apply some primer. This is Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer because I'm still gonna do liner and then I think I'll just do a little bit of highlight like on the lid. For eyeliner, we're going to use Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner in Trooper. This is my favorite. Another fave of mine is the Physician's Formula. Dang, look at all this highlight on my pinky. <laughs> um, another fave of mine is the Physician's Formula Eye Booster Eyeliner in Ultra Black. That one is a really good dupe for this one. And I think it's, I think it's like 10 bucks or so. Is anyone excited for The Walking Dead to return? I can't wait. Don't give me any spoilers though because I have not watched the last like five episodes. So basically the second half of last season, I haven't watched except for the first episode. Um, so please don't tell me what happens. Please don't give me any spoilers. But if you're excited for The Walking Dead, let me know in a comment below because I can't wait. Right now, I'm really loving, what have I been watching? Oh, Seven Little Johnstons on TLC. Love that family, love that show. I'm just gonna go in with more of the Champagne Pop highlight and put it on my lid. Um, what else do I watch on TV? Seven Little Johnstons. Oh, of course, The Housewives. The Real Housewives right now, The Real Housewives of Orange County is in season, so I've been watching that. The only show from The Housewives that I don't watch is Dallas. I just, I couldn't get into that one for some reason, so that's the only one I don't watch, but I'm loving OC, and oh my gosh, and then The Real Housewives of New Jersey starts in like a week or two. So that's gonna be really good. Flipping Out, I've been watching Flipping Out lately. Jeff Lewis and his whole family. Love that one too. I pretty much like Bravo reality TV shows. <laughs> Dramas. Oh my goodness, and Outlander started. Do any of you watch Outlander? Mm. Outlander started a couple weeks ago. So I am just so, so happy it's back. Shout out to my friend's mom for getting me into Outlander. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have watched the show. And it's, it's incredible. It's dramatic, it's romantic, it is heartbreaking, intense, action-packed. Oh, it like, it pulls at all of your emotions.
I just finished curling my lashes. And now we're gonna try out two new products from Lancome. I got these complimentary from them through Octoly. Seals Booster XL. Love the white and gold packaging. And then I also received this, I'm very, very excited about. This is their new Monsieur Big Mascara. I'm probably butchering the French language. I apologize for that. Let's use this first. This is the mascara primer. Haven't used one of these in years. I think since I was in high school, probably. That was the last time I used one. So we're going to go in with this. I'm going to coat my lashes. Here goes the mascara. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, uh, yes that fresh mascara feeling. Ooh, look at that brush. I was really excited to try these out because I have been into mascaras a lot more. Normally I'm just like, once I find a mascara, I'm sticking with it. And I'm still like that, but I'm also like opening myself up to the idea of just experimenting more with mascara. Right now my number one favorite is Maybelline's Big Shot. Um, that one just, it works for me. So I wonder how this one will compare. Oh no! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Alright, it's okay. We can let it dry and then wipe it off with a Q-tip. So it's definitely like enhancing my lashes, but it's not giving me that nice swoop, that curl that I get from my other mascara. But it makes me feel like I have some dense lashes going on. Okay, let's do the other side. And then hopefully by then this smudge will be all dried up. Huh, how strange. I actually like the way it looks on this eye better than this eye it's like not as clumpy it really does give me some big lashes but I'm still not getting that curl that I want so there it is up close I definitely like this eye for some reason why do I like it more no bottom lash mascara because we're gonna use another mascara for that but I like it I don't think I love it. I like how it really makes my lashes seem big and full, but I'm not getting that super curling effect that I love out of mascaras. For my bottom lashes, we're gonna use the NYX Cosmetics, the Skinny Mascara. I purchased this at Ulta a few weeks ago. Shout out to my friend Nicole for giving me the recommendation. I, I was looking for a new bottom lash mascara because the one I was using before was just smudging like crazy and that one was the Pure Minerals Triple Threats Mascara. I think that's what it was called. Um, and I really liked the volume and length that it gave my bottom lashes, but it just smudged, smudged like right off the bat. So I've used this one a couple times and I really like it. I haven't received or I haven't got any smudging from it. It says it's waterproof and smudge proof. And so far that is the case, so hallelujah. <laughs> but I really like the definition that I get from this because it definitely separates all these little lower lashes. I was gonna fill in my brows with Goof Proof, my fave brow pencil at the moment, but because we're trying out a brow product from Lancome, I think I'm gonna forego that and just focus on this to see how it really works. This is the Lancome Sourcils Styler. Again, forgive me for not pronouncing that correctly. <laughs> um, and this I also received compliment complimentary from them through Octoly. By the way, I'm gonna have a link to Octoly in the description box below. It's a free store for creators and it's a great way to try out beauty products, um, hair products. I think they even have fashion there now. Um, so you can review for like your Instagram, your YouTube and so on. This is like their version of a brow gel. 
This one is the, in the translucent color, but they do have other tints available. And it's just supposed to thicken your brows, make them look more polished and put together. Um, so we're gonna go in. Oh, this looks like lash glue. Huh, okay. And also that brush. That is an interesting shaped brush. Look at that. Okay, so it says, let's see. Brush against the hair to thicken and then smooth in the direction of the brow structure. Okay, so against and then smooth. So, against. Oh, this is so weird. It looks like lash glue. <laughs> And then in the direction. It's definitely giving me that that defined look. Crazy, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Let's do the other brow and see how that turns out. I do like this point right here. That's really helpful to get everything lined up. Ooh, yeah, I like that. I'm just not used to like brow hairs just like sticking to my skin. That's definitely something new for me. It doesn't feel hard, but it definitely feels flat. This is, this is interesting. <laughs> On camera, it looks really good. Like I'm looking at the monitor and it looks really good like it almost looks like I filled in my brows, so I really appreciate that. Especially since I'm doing a more minimal makeup look where it's just like the face makeup as the focus and lashes and such, so. Okay, okay. We will see how this performs throughout the rest of the day and then I will update you guys in the comments how it works out since this is the first time I'm using it. For lips, we're gonna use this lipstick that I created at the Bite Beauty Lip Lab in New York City. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to share this with you guys. Okay, are you ready? Because it's really, really good. Here it is. This is Chicana, and she is a rosy nude, and she is my baby. She is so perfect. She is the nude that I have needed all of my life. It has been a challenge for me to find a nude that doesn't wash me out because my lips are like naturally like pinky and rosy and this one is like oh mi corazón like it's it's so good so yeah and it smells amazing i made this at the bite beauty lip lab with jesse crystal and amanda and look oh uh, I have a vlog coming up about that. I didn't include it in my New York vlog because I wanted it to be separate. Oh my gosh, look. I love lipstick. The perfect nude. Mm, I'm so happy and so proud of this lipstick and I love that I named it Chicana um, as a nod to um, mis Latinas, Mis Latinos, Latinx, my heritage. Oh my gosh, I am just, I am so obsessed with this lipstick and I can't wait to show you the other one that I made too. I'm gonna top this, the, I'm not topless. <laughs> I'm gonna top this lipstick with Over the Top <laughs> from the Desi and Katie collab with Dose of Colors. I'm just gonna apply it right here in the center. Love, love, love this gloss. Actually, should I do it all over? Yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit more. There we go, yeah, I like that look. Concentrated in the center, but then I just like lightly blended off whatever was on the brush on the rest of the lip. I'm gonna set everything with the Makeup Fixing Mist from Pixi. This stuff smells so, so good. 
I'm gonna go change. I'm gonna put on this new sweater that I ordered from Prem. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna love it. And I'll be right back. It is officially sweater weather, yes. And look, so this just came in the mail today. I ordered it yesterday from Prem. Their new collection dropped instantly. Had to order this sweater because it is beautiful. This is the cami knot sweater and you can do it off the shoulder. You can do one shoulder. You can leave them both up if you want and have like more slouchiness. This is in a size four. It's in a beautiful camel color. It definitely has like this warm autumn color. Super cozy, it has long sleeves. Um, it has very long sleeves. <laughs> so I'm definitely just gonna keep them rolled up. This is the best part of the sweater. Mita, look at the back, oh my gosh. It's so unexpected, it's so sexy, but also very classic. And it just makes me feel like, I don't know, it makes me feel good. <laughs> I love it. So it's definitely like almost a crop sweater, right? Cause it hits right above the waist. Like this is still my stomach, so it's hitting pretty much in the midriff area. I thought I would wear some gold jewelry to complement the really warm tones in the sweater and I'm really liking all the warm golden fall vibes I'm getting from this, especially cause it's officially fall, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, and then my hair, um, my hair is probably gonna stay down. I'm just gonna let it air dry. And if anything, it'll probably end up in a top knot by the end of the day. I'm off to my parents' house. It is their anniversary. So happy anniversary, mom and dad. I love you. And I will see you soon. I'm really excited to spend some time with them this weekend. Also, before I go, I do want to extend my heartfelt prayers and thoughts to all of you that are in Mexico and Puerto Rico. I am thinking of you and praying for you and um, hoping that you are safe and okay. Um, there's just so much devastation happening, so many natural disasters, and um, God be with us and God be with you. So I hope that you are okay, and thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Take care. Until next time, love yourself and stay fashionable. Bye.